Hello everyone and welcome to another Arthritis Help Movement Improvement Session where you learn to move differently so you can feel better. I'm Dr. David Sofer, physical therapist, and today we're going to be talking about how to strengthen your shoulders to make them more comfortable uh, and more free when you're moving for reaching and lifting. We're going to take stress off of the rotator cuff. We're going to integrate movement through the thorax, through the chest and ribs, and get more strength and mobility out of your shoulder blade to support your shoulder through movement. So most of the time when people have shoulder problems, they really actually are doing a lot of work through their shoulders and not enough support and not enough assistance through their torso and especially their shoulder blades. So today we're gonna to work on one small piece to see if we can improve the coordination between the shoulder, shoulder blade and torso and make you a little bit stronger and more comfortable. This is gonna be done entirely while lying on your belly. Uh, that can be uncomfortable for some people, so there are some accommodations that you can make if you're doing that. Uh, you're gonna be lying down. If you're uncomfortable lying down on your belly, I want you to put a pillow underneath your chest, just like this, so your head falls just over the pillow, just like that, okay? You can even use two pillows or even three pillows, but I want you to make sure that you lie down in a way that is completely comfortable. Not sort of comfortable, not one out of 10 pain, but zero, no pain whatsoever as we go. All right, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna start lying down on your belly with your head looking towards your right shoulder, so turn to the right. Again, if this is at all uncomfortable for you, bolster yourself up from the chest, get yourself higher so you're hanging down, it'll be less tension in your neck. If you have any pain from position, it's not going to be a good session for you, so please make sure you accommodate appropriately. If you have un discomfort underneath your feet, a pillow underneath your feet will make you more comfortable too. Okay, so once you're settled in, we're just going to lie. Your right arm is going to be next to you on the table. And I want you to get a sense and feel that right shoulder and right wrist and hand, how they rest on the table. And we're just going to start by lifting the right hand up in the air a little bit and bring it down. And lift it up and bring it down. And as you do this, I want you to notice that for most people, the majority, when the hand lifts up, the shoulder stays down. The shoulder doesn't lift with the hand. It tips at the shoulder. There's nothing wrong with that here nor there, but that is a pattern that's very common and sometimes can be real strenuous in the shoulder. Okay, we're going to relax. Now we're going to do the opposite. I want you to leave your hand down and you're just going to lift your shoulder up in the air. And that can be a little bit trickier. Lifting the shoulder requires you do a bunch of different things with your body. So just notice how easy is it to lift, how much can you lift, and make sure that you're not lifting your hand with it and not pressing your hand as you go. And so as you lift the shoulder, you should notice that it's not just a lift up in the air, but it's actually a little bit of a roll to the left that as that shoulder rises, the weight comes off the right side of your body and moves just a little bit to the left side of the body. And this can be particularly tricky for a number of people. I also want you to feel that when that shoulder drops, the shoulder blade kind of fans out away from your upper back, right? And then as you come up, it kind of moves back and in towards your spine. So the shoulder blade comes away from the spine and then moves toward the spine as you lift that hand. And just notice its ability to do that. Some people, the shoulder blade wings. Some people, they don't like to move in that direction. How easily can that shoulder blade find your way toward the spine? And then finally, in all, from just this one movement, the shoulder blade is actually going to move down towards your waistline a little bit. So it kind of glides downward. Some people like to kind of shrug, but it can move downward and that's going to help you find that nice, easy shoulder lift position. And then just as a little trick, we're going to take the right leg and we're just going to bring it up and out to the side a little bit. And as you do that, yeah, you can rest your hand anywhere. As you do that and you lift, you're going to feel that just from that position, it's easier to lift the shoulder 
And maybe those things that you had trouble noticing before are a little easier to find. When you lift that shoulder, now you start to roll into your left chest. The shoulder blade starts to roll down into the spine and starts to glide down towards the waistline a little bit. And by bringing this leg up, it helps to turn the pelvis and turn the body, which gives you freedom to move into that direction. And just notice how easily that works. Good. Come back and relax. And just rest. Okay. Now we're going to raise that shoulder just like we did the same way. And then as that shoulder's up, we're going to let the hand just hover right over the table. Good and then down with the hand and down with the shoulder. Lift the shoulder, feeling all those components that we talked about, and then let the hand levitate. Make sure you don't lift the hand up higher than the shoulder. It should stay below the level of the shoulder. When that shoulder lifts up, we want the hand just to follow, but we don't want the hand to lift so much that it starts to tip that shoulder back forward like that first motion that we did. We want to lift the shoulder and let the hand just kind of come along with it and then come down. So if your arm is one piece, the shoulder lifts and it allows the arm to lift as well. And just feel for your ability to do that. And for some people, this can be an entire exercise, right? Feeling that you can lift and get those components of using your left chest and gliding those shoulder blades together. Good. And so if this is where you are, this is what you practice. And come down and relax. Remember to keep yourself comfortable. Don't push through pain. Remember rule number one. What's rule number one? Always be kind to yourself. You know that by now, okay? So go gently. Go within your body. Don't try to do what I do. Do what you can do. Go at your own pace. All right, we're going to add another component now. We're going to lift the shoulder. We're going to lift the hand just a little. And then we're going to turn that hand down, palm down to face the floor and then turn it back to palm up and then rest the hand and then rest the shoulder. And I want you to notice what that little movement of palm down does to your shoulder. So we're going to shoulder up all those components, hand up, and feel that when you go palm down, if you really go, it kind of opens up the shoulder and opens the chest and kind of accentuates all those movements that we were talking about before and come down. And if you're not feeling that, that's okay. All that means is that as you move, you're going to be moving a lot from your forearm and you don't know how to integrate that movement all the way into the rest of your body. And that's precisely what this movement is here to train for you. You know, lift the shoulder, lift the hand and feel how the hand turns and turns everything together. And if you have trouble feeling that, that just means that you have trouble integrating that movement into the rest of your body and that you have an even greater opportunity to improve by finding that coordination. Good. Okay. And relax. Very nice. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do, same thing, lift the shoulder, let the hand hover, turn down, and then see, can we bring that arm out into a T position? with the palm forward, and then as you bring it back, a little bit palm down, and then palm up, and then hand down, and then shoulder down. As we add more components, you're gonna be more inclined to go back to your old ways. You wanna make sure that we're starting with shoulder up, and that shoulder stays up throughout the entirety. Palm comes up, reaching up, and that the shoulder stays up and doesn't drop down doesn't fall down into the floor, but stays high as you come around, if you can, and then bring it back and down. Okay. Try that one more time just to see where you're at. Lift the shoulder, lift the hand to hover, turn the palm down, elongate that arm and bring it forward. So palm is forward, thumb is up, and the shoulder not falling down, but staying up in the air and then comes back and turns and then hand down and then shoulder down. Very nice. Now we're going to add this component of bringing the knee out and you're going to find that this is going to make life a little bit simpler for you. As you lift that shoulder you'll feel that it's a little easier to lift and the hand a little easier to lift. Palm down and as you roll out to the side right you're going to feel that the left side of your chest can now be a nice base to hold yourself up from. 
that you don't feel as inclined to drop that shoulder down. So feel that you're pushing the center to the left of your breastbone down to help bring that arm out and then turn it back and around. So feel even as that shoulder lifts, that left side of your breastbone right here is pressing into the surface, pressing into the floor to lift your arm. As you're turning, elongate that arm and feel that that side of the breastbone pushes to hold you up and then turn and come back down. Good. We'll just do a few more of those with this knee up. Feel that you can lift the shoulder. Feel how when you can unweight the right side and weight the left side that it makes life easier. We're going to turn the hand and we're pushing using that left chest as your base. And this allows you to move more of your torso involved and freeze up your shoulder. One more time. Shoulder up, hand up, turn palm down and then finally palm forward, thumb up as the arm comes out like a T and then it can come back down and relax and rest. You can straighten out your legs again. Whew, good, take a breather. We're gonna just do one or two more without that knee up to see if we can find that similar feeling. Can we lift the shoulder and find that left chest is available to you. You can unweight the right and weight the left as you lift. And I have a little trouble with this. As I go, I like to practice this one. I like to try to find that left chest as best I can without forcing, just seeing if I can kind of convince my body or figure out a way to loosen myself up so I can roll into that direction. Lift the shoulder, good, and turn the arm, find that left chest. Use the center of the chest or left chest as a base to come down, but never using the right chest, never using the shoulder as a base to lift from, always lifting the whole body together, down and around and relax. Good. Whew. All right. Feeling the workout in that right shoulder. Okay. Very good. Now we're going to do the other side. I'm just going to flip around. You just focus on the other side. So we're going to lie down on your belly. I'm actually going to use a pillow for this side. It's a little easier for me to speak. So the pillow is going to be underneath my chest. Good. And some people might feel that they're comfortable laying with the head in one direction, but not in the other direction, so you do what's best for you. Okay, and we're going to have the head turned to the left this time, looking at your left shoulder, and then we're just going to allow that left shoulder to lift, oh, I'm sorry, we're going to lift the left hand up and the shoulder down, just to do that little start in the beginning. Feeling the shoulder stays down and the hand comes up. And then we're going to do the opposite. The hand is down and we're just going to lift that left shoulder up. And we're going to see how easy is it to lift this left side compared to the right. And I'll tell you, uh, my left side, always my left side, <laughs> a little more trouble than my right. And uh, I will release that frustration though and continue on with this session. Lift and drop. It's an opportunity for improvement. And I want to feel that as I lift that left shoulder, I'm not pressing the left hand in, but I'm feeling that I'm weighting my right chest as best I can, that my shoulder blade is running in towards my spine and a little bit down towards my waist. And can I find that direction or coordination of movement as I move up and down? Good, and finding that smooth movement on a side that's difficult can be the most important part of this exercise. All the other stuff is really based on this foundation. So if you can get this good, all the other stuff becomes easier. A lot of times we want to jump to the more complicated things. So now we're going to lift the shoulder and let the hand hover, the palm down, and feeling that we're not lifting up, that as we lift the hand, the shoulder's not tipping down. So see if we can find that ability to lift the shoulder and the hand, but that lifting that hand doesn't tip that shoulder forward, that we stay with all those things that we talked about. The shoulder blade towards the spine and down using that right chest. Good, and then from here we're just gonna turn palm down and feel that when we do that, it should help all of those movements. It should help bring the shoulder blade toward the spine. It should help 
drop the shoulder blade and should help weight the center or right chest and unweight the left. Good, we'll try that one more time. Lift the shoulder, lift the hand, turn that palm down and feel all of those things happening together. Then if we want to, we can just bring that left knee up and we'll feel that from there. It tilts the pelvis, so it already helps us to unweight the left chest and weight the right chest. So from there we have this advantage that now we can lift and lift the hand and turn and everything feels oh so much easier. Right? And if this is if it was impossible for you the other way and the side feels possible, then just work everything through here. Work into with all the advantages that you need to make it feel simple. Good, I definitely like this a lot more than with the knee down. That's my practice. Okay. All right, we're going to bring that leg down. And now we're going to add that arm out component. So we're just going to lift the shoulder, lift the hand, turn the palm down, and then start bringing that arm out to the side, but in a way that keeps the weight into the center or right of the chest, not letting that shoulder fall down, not letting the arm come way up in the air. Okay, and then we'll bring it back and relax down. Good. Again, all the pieces, don't jump to the end. The journey is what's important. Feel that ability to lift the shoulder and weight the right chest. Feel that ability to lift the hand and turn and feel that shoulder blade come into the spine. Feel that long leg as you go palm forward, thumb up, and feel that the shoulder doesn't drop down, that you stay into that right chest and then we come back and around and down. If you feel any pain, any tension in your neck, put another pillow underneath your chest. Try that one more time, shoulder up, palm up, palm turns down, and then arm comes out. Again, keeping the base, the chest, the breastbone, especially on that right side is your foundation to help you integrate more shoulder blade exercises and take out rotator cuff strain and come down. All right, now for me, sweet relief, we're going to bring this knee up. We're going to try to do the same thing. All the components with that knee up, so it's turning the pelvis, so a little bit easier to lift the shoulder, a little bit easier to weight the right chest, easier to lift the hand, turn that palm down. And as we go around, feeling that we can keep that weight into the right chest and not fall over into the left. Good and then bring it back around and down. And for me, quite a bit simpler here, so I'm gonna practice a couple more just like this. Lift the shoulder, lift the hand, turn the palm down. Feel your foundation into that breastbone, into that right chest. Turn the palm forward as you come. And then return, always keeping that nice foundation. Turn the palm up, let the hand rest, let the arm rest. Whew, all right, I'm gonna try for two more. Shoulder up, shoulder blade in towards the spine, weighting my right chest, lift the hand, turn the palm down, feel everything in the left shoulder and chest open. Bring that arm out, palm forward, thumb up like a T, all the way into my right chest, bring it back. And then we bring the palm up, and then the hand down, and then finally, last but not least, the shoulder down. Last thing. Okay, one more. Here we go. So I'm going to actually do this one with the leg straight. Now I'm going to straighten out my leg just to see if I can feel that difference, see if my body learned anything. So I'm going to lift the shoulder up, bring the palm. Good. Turn that palm over. Elongate that arm, come out. Good. And from here I can feel a little bit easier for me to find my center chest. I'm not quite as much on my right as I was before, and I'm returning, but I feel much more centered and that I'm not tipping over into my left. All right, I'm gonna lift. Good, I can unweight the left chest, turn, and this allows me to use so much more of the shoulder blade muscles, giving the rotator cuff muscles relief and rest and down and relax. Whew, very nice. Okay.
That is not easy work. That is very hard work. There's a lot of muscles working in the upper back and we need those to find that nice upright posture and we need that position in order to take stress off of the rotator cuffs, put them into the shoulder blade muscles which are big and strong and much better equipped for the heavy lifting. All right, so uh, this is a little something that you can practice to not only help posture, not only help mobility, but improve strength in the shoulders and increase your day-to-day -day activities, especially with overhead and lifting and carrying. Thank you so much for joining me today and thank yourselves for taking the time and making the effort to doing what's good for you. Not everybody does it, but you did it. You stuck with it and you will find the benefits. You will reap the rewards. Um, Next week, we're going to come back with a whole new video on how to move differently so you can feel better. Uh, you can see my whole library at www.arthritishelp.info, uh, as you see somewhere here on the screen. Uh, I'll see you all next week. Take care, everyone.